was quite the tedious chore. Now I am going to take all these valves back out and then uh, make sure everything is clean before I start putting it back together. I made up this valve holder with my cylinder numbers so that I can make sure I don't get the valves in the wrong spot. I spent another hour or two maybe cleaning this head up. I'm ready to start putting it back together. I just got this uh, auto valve seal remover and installation kit from eBay for 30 bucks. It's pretty cool. It has a whole variety of sizes. Just take the uh, handle. Uh, these valves are 5.5 millimeters and screw that on there. Okay, first I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this and then uh, I put a drop of oil in the bottom down there. Take, uh, don't forget to put the washer in first. Okay, I put all of the washers in so that I, because I'm paranoid about forgetting to. So here's the seals. Putting in these, uh, these seals. Put a little bit of oil on that. And then slide it down on the tool here. Push it all the way in. Then put it, this sticks down into the valve stem hole. Has to be lined up just right. There it goes. And slide that down. Then I'm going to just put a little pressure on it. And pop. It pops right on. It doesn't go, no matter how hard you push, it doesn't go any farther. Just slide this back out. And the valve seal valve stem seal is in. Okay, I'm putting my valves in now. There we go. Turn that baby over. These springs, to start with, they have a top and a bottom. This is the top, this is the bottom. On the bottom you can see they're a little closer together, a little wider, so important. Put my spring on, bottom down, then put my retainer on there, or the, the top part, and get my compressor on here. I'm going to go by the feel on the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to squeeze that spring about a quarter of the way down or so. These guys fit into the the top part has a little uh, bump that fits into that groove right there, one on each side. Getting them in there uh, has been a challenge for me. Okay, so I see that one is too low, so I'm going to back this up a little bit. Sometimes I can push it down, not this time. I'm letting it back out a little bit. They say not to compress the spring any more than you have to. But all right, one of them is in the groove, but the other one isn't. Okay, there it went. It snapped in right into the spot there. Now if I loosen it up, they'll both tighten. And there they are. So you can see the retainers are flush against the uh, bottom of that little dip. One on each side. They're locked into the groove on the stem. Alright, three more to go and I'll be done with this part of the chore.